doesn't seem real. Um, it, she was a great person. She didn't deserve this. Life won't be the same for the family of Livingston Jet. The loss of this mother and grandmother has been extremely difficult. Her god sister telling us there aren't enough words to describe her. Just everything. There's not much that I can't say that I wouldn't want everybody to know about her. According to Lovejoy Police, Jet was shot and killed. Police say Jet's husband, Ikuko Thurman, is the suspect. Right now, there's an urgent search for him as he's considered armed and dangerous. According to family, the two were married for 13 years and recently hit a rough patch. They say Jet was trying to keep away from him. These last three weeks, he turned into a complete monster. This is not the person she married. This is not the person she married. We don't know who this person is. On September 9th, Lovejoy police were called to a home on Grove Way in Clayton County where they found a vehicle that had been crashed into a mailbox. They would locate the body of Terry Livingston Jett, who had been shot multiple times in front of her son. It was quickly determined that her ex-husband, 42-year-old Akoku Thurman, showed up to the home, blocked Terry's car with his own, and immediately began shooting, prompting Terry to drive off at which time she was struck and crashed into the mailbox. Thurman fled the scene and evaded police, leaving his vehicle behind roughly 15 miles south in Griffin at a relative's home. Relatives of Thurman cooperated with police, informing them that they had not seen or spoken to him. A manhunt immediately began for Thurman as they warned the public that he was considered armed and dangerous. Police are now following up on leads in Jackson, Georgia, and working with the police there, and they believe someone might be helping Thurman hide out, and they want the public to know that anyone helping Thurman could be facing jail time. If anyone is harboring or assisting him in any way, they can and will be charged with obstruction. Terry's family was devastated. Although they knew an arrest wouldn't bring her back, the family said it would help them begin to find closure and offered a $2,000 reward to anyone with information that could help put Thurman behind bars. This man really just tore my whole family apart. 42-year-old Ikuko Thurman, the man accused of shooting and killing his wife Livingston Jett outside of their Lovejoy home Friday evening, is still on the run. We definitely need to get him off the streets as soon as possible. Now family members of the 47-year-old woman they lovingly knew as Terry are trying to make sense of the senseless tragedy. Why would you take her from this family that loved her so much? Why would you take her from us? Police in Lovejoy say they were initially called to the Clayton County neighborhood in response to a car crash. Officers say they soon realized it was Jet who crashed, trying to get away from Thurman after he shot the mother of three in her car moments before. Her oldest son, Johnny Sitakis, told Fox 5 the entire family is still in shock. I never thought he would do something like this. Like He plotted this. He sat back. And he murdered my mom. He says his younger brother, who has cerebral palsy, was in the car with her at the time. And Thurman called him to find out where they were after she'd moved out of the home about two weeks prior. He killed her in front of him. He'll never be the same. Jet's family says she was a friend, a mother, a daughter, and a sister who showed up for everyone she loved. She was employed with the Clayton County Department of Juvenile Justice and had a passion for helping kids get on the right path. My sister was the best, you know, and she never hurt anybody. She didn't have a criminal record. They tell Fox 5 while an arrest won't bring her back, it will help them begin to find closure. And they're offering a $2,000 reward to anyone with information that could help put Thurman behind bars. Two months after Terry's senseless murder, police would announce the arrest of 42-year-old Akoku Thurman. While Thurman was believed to be hiding from police the past two months, Authorities say they had a reason to believe someone was helping him. He was charged with malice murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. As of right now, no bond has been set.